My name is Crab Nine TV, where we learn to be a better crabber. <laughs> so I've been enjoying Gunbots quite a bit. I think that my current short-term goal is to try out this Scorpion unit. I need to unlock another million billion Gorillion credits. And I, the crabs just felt weak to me. The crabs felt not good. The Gunbots feel really strong, so I'm gonna stick with them. This recent switch we've done is we've we're trying out the Recall Shocker because it seems to have more range, and I didn't quite realize that my... Um, you know, actually, let me... Oh, I was going to do a full tour of my thought on the deck. So we're against Recalls. Resource base warmed up. Enemy is building a resource base. So in this situation, I feel like Gunbots are good oh. against the Recall dude. Because of the range advantage. How many of these do I have? Four, four, five, six. Oops. Get the dark box Get at it. Huzzah. So my goal is going to be to expand and to apply pressure. Cover ground. Because the recalls are so slow. Resource base warmed up and working. Enemy is building a resource base. Okay, so this is this is my plan, which is I'm going to pressure with gunbots as much as humanly possible. Period. And I think I actually don't need the recall shockers. I think that what I should be doing is actually I'll tell you later. So we'll see what villain does here. Kill. Go, go, go. Resource base warmed up and work. Because like in this situation, I can just endlessly kite, right? Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Fine. Okay, I'll do that too. Contact. Bound and cover. Fire, fire. Starting Starforge. No. Bang, bang. Viking. Charging. Actually, I should go on this. Bring down fire. Better cover. Yeah, this so this 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 little strategy worked fine. Bounds on fire. So now we can just overfall. Position. Get at it. Triple tap. Go, go, go. Yes, game. So we're gonna queue out. Gunbots feel very strong. So villains now all in on. All in on whatever this is. So I mean, I'm just gonna. Go, go down here. It's totally fine. I want to go to the one that's farthest away. Actually, it's airships that I want. You got a resource space taking fire. Cover it. Your resource space is from the sky. Dragonflies attack. Buzz in the cold. Resource base warmed up and working. Yeah, so I don't think there's anything the villain can do about this because we just have too much air. We don't really need to do anything, but I do think the next thing I want to do is tech to an advanced destroyer because I've never built one and they seem cool. See, I'm not actually intending on doing anything. Dragon not shy. I'm actually going to do the thing I think will win, which is to get a foundry. Gunbots are so young. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean... 
victory. So one of the things that I was saying, uh, you know, in my last segment to playing this is that I do have some worries about what the long term looks like when a meta gets established. And as an example about my long term concern, an example is let's say that gunbot openings that go three base are a standard opening and recall that go three base is a standard opening. Where's the gameplay after a while? Enemy tech is turning on. And what I mean by that is like, yeah, I'll just be, you know, slamming stuff in there. Okay. Oh, recall shocker right away. Okay. With gun bots, huh? Because I mean, if the gameplay is just tie forward, tie backward, tie forward, tie backward. That's that's fun, but I think it's not enough. Hurry up and wait. Go, go, go! Fire, so fire. we see our opponent is going for probably crabs because these are so stupidly ungodly slow. So we should expect to be going for destroyers in a single shot. Oops. Starting foundry. I was talking, and that, that may have just cost us the entire game, but that's fine. So the fact that I waited like just two seconds on that, I think might be the video game. I gotta ask him to get everything in. I may have died. And foundry ready. You're cutting it close. Core at fifty percent. We can core at twenty five percent. Fail if you have to. Mark the armies. I'm the best. Bastion of Phoenix. All right. Resource base warmed up and working. I guess we are. Are you sure? Engine island. Are you sure? Next. Enemy is building a resource base. We call engine prime. Just cut your select. Next order. It's slightly awkward, but I think it's okay. Oh, are, are we ready? Wait, where? Okay, we can do it. On the hunt. Ready to cover. Getting over. No, location. about that. I'm the best. Location is covered.
doing damage. Oh, I hate that. How do we just... Can I ever control properly? Is that ever going to be a thing that I do? Enemy advanced foundry ready. Workers, workers, workers! Another location. You got a resource base taking fire. Units engaged. We can defend. Are we ready? Good ones ready. On the hunt. I guess we are here. All right, nice. We got it. Okay, we can do it. Is there like a late game unit that costs just minerals? These things do so much single target damage. Oh my god. Oh, are, are we ready? Better get going. Core under attack. Nice. Behemoth and assault bots. Interesting. I got it. Victory. Oh, that, that's an in-game sound. Alright. The gun bots feel insanely, really stupidly good. And I actually really like that I have this anti just simple anti-air unit here. It just feels really nice to just have... It feels like I can be active with the gun bots and then go, Ah, oh, oh my god. Forgot about air. Let me build some of those. Just like Marines. Well, they only shoot ground, which is why I really like having the Hunter. I'm going to keep doing roughly the same thing. Enemy is building a resource base. Infantry unit operational. So I, I actually assume that Gun I will be okay against scorpions. I don't know if that's true, but I'm going to assume it. Only ground units. One could be actually I need to rally up north so that way I can have better coverage. Yeah. Enemy is building a resource base. Starting Starforge. Okay, we can do it. Target saturation. We won. Okay. I don't think there's anything they can do about this. This guy's out of stem. Okay. Move, shoot, cover. Hurry, shoot, shoot. Another location. Are you sure? On the hunt. Oops. I actually oh, built no. some of the wrong thing. Links. Oh, Wait, I've never. What, what does this unit do? Because I saw this in the loadout thingy. Oh, it blinks. Oh my God, it's a blink unit. Resource base warmed up and working. Are, are we ready? Are you sure? Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Go, 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 can the blinks shoot air? You know, I'm gonna find out. No. Oh yes, they can. Oops. Okay. Well, 
This is gonna be a hard build order loss. From the sky, Starting foundry. All right, today I learned. Units under attack. This is a good spot to go for this. Ballistas, so that's fucking Dragon terrible. Dragonfly selected. ACM, fast move. Gun box ready. Units Go in combat. Dragonfly's moving. Corona suit, sending to Chad Ming. From the sky, standing by. Recalculating approach. All right, if I had known that that unit has Units anti air. Damage. Well well Alright, so I've lost all my dragonflies. That's fine. This is the game. Foundry ready. Units engaged. Whoa. Uh oh, it's lizard wizard time. Exposed rear. Workers down. You got a resource base taking fire. Cover it. Resource base destroyed. Bellies up. Recon shocker selected. Kill. Ready to cover. Resource base warmed up and working. Here is base. Go, go, go! Robot, Don't speak of ghosts. Go, 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 go! Edge of the map. Ah! Ah! Uh, this. Starting advanced boundary. Triple tap. In holding. Get up there, my dude. Oh, wait a minute. Damage. I can do this. Workers, workers, workers. Workers, workers, workers. Right, I love losing bases. It's like my favorite thing. Your resource space is gone. Let's go. So this is, we're a little bit all in here. Alright, feels good. Enemy tech is turning on, be ready. Units 
powerful form, sir. Bastion of Venus. Getting over. Units in combat. We Let's go. Here I come. Heavy ballista. That's just like one shot, right? Nice. Woo! That. Every win is earned. Felt great. That was incroyable. Oh my god, is that my literal brother, Tasteless TV? Nick, what a delight to see you. We just won a game where I dare say I felt Gosu. Dantaro says, great comeback. Here's how little I know about this game, Dantaro. Thought I was winning the whole time. <laughs> Every win is earned. Oh my god. Hey Nick, are you streaming later? Because I'm going to stop streaming in like an hour, hour and a half if you want me to raid you. Dude, these, these little... These guys? My lizard wizards? Oh my god, yeah. No. Mr. Zephyr says you barely survived. You know, the crisis? Who doesn't love managing a good crisis? Crisis management. Oh, AOC Ashley Linz. I thought I was winning the whole time, and that's confidence. I kind of enjoy crisis situations. This is one of the first times in an RTS that I've played for a long time, where I actually felt like I was doing crisis management. Like that twitchy, like, oh my god, I gotta do it fast crisis management. Vision Holt says, you gonna play 2v2? I have no friends. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably play with my... Mate, Joey. Joey is watching. He's like, what the fuck? We're playing. Resource enemy is building a resource base. So that's crabs. Good well. So I assume I have a good matchup against crabs. So good I should just well. rally, right? On location. No. Found and cover. Hurry up and wait. All right. I have a brother. I have the, the the worst quality that my brother has is that he lives 16 hours ahead of me. So it's one of those things that I'm so emotionally irritated by that it might be difficult for us to 2v2. But holy mo holy moly! Oops, I didn't hit the button. I thought I did. What in the chamber? Villain waiting. You know what? Yeah. Resource base warmed up and working. Calculating grid. Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Gunbox nice. Ready. Gotcha. Gunbox moving. Fire, fire. Starting foundry. Found and cover. This unit feels as overpowered as possible. Viking. Charging. Scanning. Better cover. Engine idle. Position. I've gotten so many free crabs. Go, go, go! Gun bombs attack. Two of these. Rest destroyers. Foundry ready. Next order. Get at it. Found and cover. You have chosen. Location is covered. Slow and steady. Ready to cover. Dude, I love I love these lizards. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna make Okay, okay. Don't prod. Nearest base. Recall shockers moving. One in the chamber. Recall shockers selected. 
What is my opponent even doing? Starting I'm going for Heavy Ballista. Foundry. Okay, don't speak of ghosts. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Waddling. Robotic infantry. Assembled. Together I mean, now. Let me hold the Q button. Q! Recall engine prime. Form up for Venus. Form up for Venus? Do these voice lines, they just say stuff. Next order. I can queue out one more time. Location is covered. Viking. Charging. Getting ready to cover. Recon chakras are Units attacking. reporting damage. Bastion of Venus. Advanced Foundry ready. Okay, okay. Oops. Good pride. We can defend. Oh, I have controlled this as poorly as a man can control it. Nearest base. Rounds below. Yeah, I think I think we got it. I think we got it. We got it. Dropping frames. You know what? What can you do? Not much I can do. Space warmed up and Assemble. Rally here. Dude, I love my lizards. Units engaged. Alright, this is the game. This is the game. Dude, those lizard wizards are actually very sick for taking late bases and just like recalling in the AoE you need to zoop the dudes. I have 80 war credits. Oh, I can't wait to not be able to buy anything. Uh, what are my frames looking like? We appear to be effectively okay right now. All right, I need to win 80,000 more games. I need to build resource bases. I need to win. I need to gather matter. Hold on, hold on. Yes, do you need attention? Do you need love? Ow! I apologize if that's not what you wanted. What's the win condition? Destroy the thing in the corner of their base, and then you get them. I really want to make more of these, but this line seems very good. All Like, literally this top line of dudes seems great. Very upset very quickly. So we're against another crab user. Resource. Enemy is building a resource base. The lizard wizard is so good. So because my opponent has crabs, I can rally the gun bots out because when I'm stemmed, we have the same movement speed. Hurry up and wait. Go, go, go. I want to rally out like to here because you can see I'm sweeping counterattack paths. My opponent expanded as well. Location. Left one in the chamber. I think I can wait Top a sec and see what villain does. No. Gunbots moving. Gunbots ready. Rounds on target. Covering ground. Oops. Enemy tech is turning on. Resource base warmed up and working. So my opponent is now going to be pinned to counterattacking for a bit. So I rally to my second base while villain is getting the air up. What's this unit? 
the cover. These are 50 50. Okay, we can do it. Alright, I'm doing a little bit of reading here. What in the chamber? Are they here? Okay, we can hurry. Great. Are you sure? Shoot them. Look out, you leaders back to me. Really? Exposed rear. Workers down. Star Forge is ready. Another We can do it. Units under attack. Workers getting flanked. Okay. Units in combat. Flyers. I think I can keep expanding. I feel I feel very confident with this position. Now that we have the airship, I can just build that in response Resource to whatever they do. Warmed up and working. Are you sure? Target. Units reporting sure? damage. Spray the sky. Triple tap. Can't tell if I'm winning or losing, or what's really happening. Next and probably just starting foundries. Workers dying of course, okay. Wizard wizards, let's go. Lizards. Locking 
Plasma cannon firing. Recall shocker selected. One link. Two. Dude, these airships are so good at this air. Full firing cycle. Don't speak of ghosts. This one Corona, sir. Workers, workers, workers. You got a resource oh, base taking oh, fire. Scan. Cover it. We can get workers that. under attack. Venus. Recall engine fried. Just in case. Location is Dude, I really love these little recall hunters. You the recall turkey, whatever they're called. <laughs> I forgot about that. So in fucking sane. I cannot believe it. Bastion of Venus. But next order. Corona suit. Resource base warmed up. Raining plasma. Right. Whoo, Jesus. Holy Victory. moly. The game is relatively fucking sweet. Average Game Guy says, this feels like a very condensed RTS that lends to a good sense of accessibility. I would say it is, there, there is... I don't know what anyone means by accessibility anymore. I don't know what anyone means by accessibility, because the fact is... This game is all about, like, the most difficult parts of RTS for your average bear, which is, like very rapid, intense micro fights and crisis management. Um, and so like, if someone said, hey, I'm a new RTS player and I'm just playing StarCraft, what should I focus on? Um, I'd be like, build orders. You know, like make these things. A, move and cast some abilities. Focus on macro first. Micro would be like a fringe thing that I would be like, wait for way later. Um, and again, that's just from a normal RTS perspective. Um, so with that in mind, I, I, I'm not really... It's very distilled, and I would... Like, I feel, as like a hardcore RTS nerd, I'm having a blast. This is awesome. Woodley Woody says, when you say micro, do you mean granular control or controlling multiple groups that sort of handle themselves? Micro typically refers to if you fix your screen and you individually manage units or small patches of units to maximize their efficacy. That's, um, that's generally what is meant by micro. Generally. Generally, multitasking and multi-pronged attack are more related to the base. other thing. Standing proud. All right, I see. All right. So I have my play against recall, which is I basically am going to expand until they stop expanding. I want to match or get one more base because I believe that gun bots are just better than um, recalls. I think. Recalls are really slow, so we can be aggressive. So I'm actually going to camp kind of like right out here. Resource base warmed up and working. Go, go, Enemy go. is building a resource yeah. base. Location loading. Hurry up and wait. Triple tap. Calculating grid. Gun bots moving. Bang, bang. Get at it. Cover it ground. Rounds on target. Found the cover. Fire, fire, 
Resource base warmed up as I don't see a reason not to do this. Enemy is building a resource base. Fighting. Charging. Robotic infantry. Full auto. Better cover. Gun bots attack. Clear. Position. Go, go, go! Gun bots ready. Location. Loading. I think I'll get another base. Resource base warmed up and working. Because I, I do have to recall Mega Man. Recall uh, Shockers. Starting Foundry. Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Oh, I see. He's waiting for me to run out of. Can I not win this? I think I can, right? I mean, this is a bit more of me trying to understand this game a bit better. You got a resource base taking fire. Cover it. Oh, I see. You got a resource base taking fire. Cover it. Interesting. Okay. So that's just going to be a straight feed for me. Wow, those actually deal a lot more damage than I expected. Got a cool. Base destroyed. Shocker. Okay. ready. Nearest base. Together now. Recall shockers and don't speak of ghosts. Man, those recalls are Recall awesome. They're like prime. quite strong. That's actually Location really, really neat. Is covered. We can defend. Holy fucking shit. We lost! There's so many shockers. <laughs> oh my god, we got fucking home. Dude, I did not expect that many shockers, and I got caught at an insanely bad angle for me. <laughs> Absolutely cooked. Woo. Okay, so I need something. I need some way to deal with these things, because maybe it actually is just I need to get even more advanced shockers. I was expecting a bunch Enemy of crusaders. A so that base. might be a little bit of a newbie move that I did. Maybe yeah. if I have enough of these, we're okay. Maybe if I have enough of those, we're okay. Nice. Keep your head up and bounce I see. back. Another thing that I could have done is just have like because I, for some reason I was really over indexing that Crusaders would come because this is the second game I've played against this unit and it fucked me up the first time I played against it. And so I think that if I actually just get a few shockers, just a few, and then have destroyers in the front and just play a lot more carefully, maybe that would help. I don't know. Part, part of me thinks that I should have just masked the lizard wizards. Counter Sharks be a big unit of your own. What are my units? Right, I should be going for a heavy ballista if I see that as a immediate thing. Got it. Build the cat bus. Can't afford it, Nick. And the free to play battle path system that is before me. Resource base. One. Enemy is building a resource base. Part of me thinks that literally mass recall shockers is the play. All right, we're against gnats. Wasps. Sorry, wrong unit. So they have shockers. So I want to be a little bit lower on bases here, I guess. Starting foundry. Enemy tech is turning on. Be enemy, ready. Enemy tech is turning on. Dude, you know I'm going to get those recall shockers. You know it. Infantry, hurry up and wait. 
Viking. Charging. So this button selects the whole army. I think it's the biggest debate of all time. I think it's an absolute silly debate. I think that's just like how you immediately detonate your own success in the game. Resource base warmed up and working. So I'm going to be going for recall shockers. Enemy is building a resource base. Go lizards. Slow and steady. Don't speak of ghosts. Okay, okay. Don't cry. Location is covered. Recall shockers moving. We can't defend. Alright. I clearly have problems against shockers. Bastion of Venus. Break out fire. Former of Venus. Viking. Charging. Recall shockers select. Gunpots ready. Huh. I found the weakness. Next order. I think I think the answer is target fire. Okay. Next order. Mark the army nearest base. Enemy is building a resource base. Alright, so let me Don't send this guy over here. Ghosts. Location oh, is oh, oh. Hi. Hi. oh, I should be tacking like this, right? That I think is right. Waddling. Starting advanced foundry. Cover. The gun is rotating. Oh, Alright, this is the game. Okay. <laughs> See, I really want to unlock scorpions, because I think shockers feel really good. Yeah, I think, I think that's right. Because the shockers have a faster cooldown on their attacks. And if I make the ballistas, I think they they roast me. All right, I think that's right. I think I'm I think I'm done. Why wow, the wasps? Were, are insanely difficult to deal with. I think that maybe what I need to do Advanced is just ready. not actually pressure and just stay back because like getting surrounded was really rough. Space warmed up and working. Boom! Let's go! Go, go, go! Full auto! Let's Workers! 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 You got a resource okay. space okay. taking fire. Cover it! Workers under attack. Units under attack. You got a resource base taking fire. Cover it. Expose. You got a re units in combat. You got a resource base taking fire. Cover it. Don't speak of Units. You got a resource base taking fire. Cover it. Oh, are, are we ready? Hmm. Can we hunt? Is this the You game? got a resource base taking fire. Resource oh. base destroyed. Ready to cover. Oh. Better get going. 
Booker's getting flanked. This is a ridiculous Big move by me. <laughs> you got a resource space taking fire. Your resource space is on Yeah, I'm super dead. I'm just gonna concede. I'm out. F1, F3. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the shockers are clearly something that what I have done, like, is just working so not well at all. Because right now, if someone just gets a shocker, they kind of cook me. I am gonna try this idea of if I'm against shockers, I try to tech to heavy ballista, and I go recall shocker, but I play very passively. I'm in the stream in about 45 minutes, Nick. Here's my brother min-maxing raids. Let me tell you. Same way I'm min-maxing against shockers, baby. Knights. Oh, that unit resource sucks. Base. Enemy is building a resource base. Oh, so I just kill them. I just rally in. I try to make knights. Knights are bad. What I really want is for this to be a scorpion and this for this to be a shocker. That's that would make me very happy. Knights seem like the worst thing, the worst thing that has ever been in a game. David Kim actually is a hater. I'm not gonna lie, he despises people that enjoy happiness and fun. Oh, oh, they have range. Oh. Oh my God. Starting foundry. Oh my god, do these do these roast me? Tech is turning on. Be ready. Okay. Can I win this at all? Seems like no, maybe. I'm trying to just do some stuff to just see what happens, because I, I I need to learn how these unit interactions work. Because I mean, I can just keep running away, but resource base warmed up. Oh, I hit the wrong button. All right, that's fine. This is the game. Enemy is building a resource base. I really wish I didn't hit that button. Attack, you fucking assholes! I literally don't know how either of these deals with destroyers. What? That's crazy to me. What? Alright, I'll make that Units unit. Huh? Under attack. Alright, well. not I think I misunderstand kind of how the uh, I think I misunderstand how destroyers work because they seem really fragile they seem like insanely insanely fragile what is this thing a gargantua okay ready to cover My opponent has just a ton of... I don't know. Bastion of Venus. Advanced foundry ready. Very Location 
location is covered. I'm gonna go for the baristas. Heavy baristas? I don't really know. Uh, again, there's a huge knowledge gap where it's like, opponent's teching up, and I'm like, all right, well, that seems like a good amount of that. Here I come. Holy shit. Look at these things. These things are sweet. Oh my god, what is this thing? What the hell is that? That thing's awesome. Because, like, look at how much damage it does when it... Whoa! Dude, we got fucking clapped! Mama Keep Mia. Keep your head up and bounce back. Keep your head up and bounce back. I mean, I can't change my units. They don't give us access to those. Okay. So, I definitely thought that destroyers would shit on villains... Lizard wizards. How wrong I was. Resource base. Enemy is building a resource base. These are blinks, and these are blink hunters. Great. Oh, switch shockers. Enchiladian. Gifting five. Help us stay alive. Thanks, Enchiladian. Howdy doody do. Gotta be careful with the lizard aggression. Let's see here. What do we want to build? You know, I'm kind of interested in trying this. Go straight for the foundry. Starting play. foundry. Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Going for flappers, sure. So in this case. You got a resource space taking fire. Oh my god, that's so funny. So I win, right? Oh, I didn't hockey. Resource base warmed up and working. So I can just make anti-air units, because I will win on the ground, right? Units reporting damage. Oops, I'm reading how units work. Alright, I'm being units punished. Engaged. I deserve to be punished. I love the punish. Foundry ready. Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Hurry up and wait. Light actuators activated. Four Okay, we can do it. Okay, we can hurry. Get at it! Alright. Recall shocker selected. Better cover? Waddling. Next order. Position. Robotic infantry. Oh my. Oops. Hey, I actually remember to put anti air over here. Another location? Alright, so now. Don't speak. Are you sure? Together now. Locking tail, bastion of Phoenix. Hunter selected. Hurry, shoot, shoot! Recall engine, ready to cover. Starting Starforge. All right, so now, now it's going to be hard to lose. Belly's up. Firing non-stop. Location is covered. Getting over. Stand. Nearest base. Oh, are, are we ready? Slow and steady. So now I can apply we pressure can here. Defend. Okay, we can do it. Oh no! Recall shocker selected. Are they here? Raining plasma! Wait, are you sure? Units, workers under attack. Okay, okay. Don't cry. Hunter selected. Recall shocker. What in the fuck is that? What is that? Oh, an advanced destroyer? What? That thing was sick. Units in combat. Starforge is ready. Starting advanced Starforge. Oops, oops, oops. Cancel, 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 cancel. I don't want an advanced Starforge. I don't want that at all. Resource 
I'm sorry, what the fuck just happened? Dude, these things are insane. Units reporting damage. Oh, they just shoot and move at the same time. Okay. Dude, those things are ridiculous. I mean, hear that he got those things. We can defend. Wow, that was an insane unit. Recall shockers selected. I never wanted to do this tech, so I just kind of set 400 on fire. Next order. Advanced Starforge is complete. It's done. Dude, these advanced destroyers are fucking insane, dude. This unit... I, I actually don't think I even have an answer for this. Um, I mean, I literally don't even feel like there's anything that I own that is good against them. Right? Like... Look at the range on these things! I mean, are these guys good against that? Doesn't look like it. Okay, literally, like, how how do I even beat that? Like, what units your head up. should I back. think about with that? I mean, like, I, I literally did that, and I was like, I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless, man. It's over for me. Yeah, I guess I also need to go advance destroyer or something. I need to go advance the square or some shit. That was insane. Any air to ground units? Well, I had I had the air to ground units, but they had blink, so they were able to pick them off. So I mean, I think that I will express that th this is the moment where I I will point to this is my worry about this game in a very long-term sense. In a long-term sense, I worry that, like, in that game, what I feel like happened is that I just got hosed. Part of it is that I didn't know that the unit was coming, but let's assume that I did. Um, I don't, part of me is just like, oh, I don't think I have a good answer for that, so I just, like, instantly lose. You know, I, I'm making my point terrible. Let me try it again. If I say play a 60-minute game of Dota and they have some, you know, carry that's stupidly farmed who just keeps 5v1 or 1v5ing our entire team. We just can't beat the carry. At that point in time, I feel 50 minutes of time before the dude became indestructible worth of decisions and things that could have gone differently. And there was that team fight that we lost early. Maybe I could have done something differently for that. You know, it just feels like this huge space of stuff. Um, or even in a card game like Magic the Gathering. Um, there's enough variation and enough like degrees of freedom of stuff you can do that I feel like I can, I have stuff to think about. Like after this game, let's assume that the answer is that I really should have butterflies instead of dragonflies. Like maybe maybe that's that's the simple 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 answer. Corona certified. But I mean even that, I mean it's just like okay I guess I just do that done I guess. Uh, I don't know I don't know that. It, in other words, I don't feel like I have a lot of wiggle room. So my statement is not, oh I don't know what the answer is and I don't like not knowing the answer. I'm super fine with like knowledge walls where it's like oh you didn't know that. That counters that? Oh, you need to know that. I actually love that quality of games. Um, what I feel is that I feel like the only me main degree of freedom that I have there is like, I need the unit to counter this thing. I mean, I don't want to go for advanced destroyers, man. That thing seems unbelievably sick. So I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to do that in my next game. So again, I want to be really clear. I have no problem with the hard counter. I have no problem with the hard counters. Resource I have no problem with that. But 
you know, here's a better way to make my point. In Dota, if I feel like I am hard counter, like literally I'm against someone who's hard countering. I feel like I have different farming patterns. I feel like there's different moves I can do. I feel, I feel like there's a lot of wiggle room of stuff. And I like that feeling of having lots of wiggle room of other things I can do outside of simply having the hard counter. All right, I am I am going to apply pressure here. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Joey. I'm against Joey. I'm against Joey. I'm fucking against Joey. Joey's fucking Enemy sick. Tech Woo! Turning You're turning your tech on, dude. Joey, that's a great idea. Let me do this. Fucking starting star. I'm going to star forge it up, dude. We're going to go mass airship baby. Oh my god, dude. Nice username fucking owns. Oh my Oh my god, I'm getting crabbed by Joey! I'm so fucking embarrassed! Oh my god, I'm getting crabbed on. Resource base warmed up and working. Calculating ready. Gun box ready. Gun box moving. Rounds on target. Cover ground. Found and cover. Getting crobbled over here. Back, back. Oops. Units engaged. Standing side by side. Star Forge is ready. Full auto. Viking hit. Exposed oh, rear. Workers down. Kill. I'm getting crabbed on. Better cover. Units under attack. I'm getting out multitasking. No! Joey's grown too powerful. This game is a shit show. <laughs> no! Oh. I know what to get now. The answer is advanced destroyers. Starting advanced Starforge. Enemy is building a resource base. I'm getting crobbled. I know, I know you, I know, I know what your plan is. Under attack. Yeah, I already thought of that. I just learned about the advanced destroyer as being the most broken unit I know. And units reporting damage. I got absolutely fucking hosed on that angle. Oh, I haven't. All right, Joey, you're you're hosed. You're hosed. You're about to get toasted. Joey's about to get rotated. <laughs> These advanced destroyers are so dumb. They're so good. I'm gonna make more anti-air because I'm worried about that. 
If this base lives, then I might be the luckiest player of all time. All right, no, I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just a man. Dude, advanced destroyers are so fucking stupid. They're so good. So I think the, the worry now is a uh, counterattack here. So I'm going to go F, F. Holy fuck, man! It's 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 a little too good. Oh shit! I wasn't expecting that. All right. I, I was expecting the air. All right, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> it's so it's so stupid. It's the advanced destroyer. Uh, big! Oh my god, big! Big, we just discovered that the Advanced Destroyer is a unit. Let me tell you, the Advanced Destroyer is ridiculous. Joey, welcome to the channel, man. You absolutely crabopled me for most of that game, and then I got the Advanced Destroyer and advanced through to the other side. Wait, do I- have I earned- have I played 10,000 games enough to unlock the Scorpion? Oh, dude, how many How many more? I need to play... So I need 500, so I need 40 more war credits, so that's only 45,000 more games, is that right? How does it handle butterflies? I don't actually know what a butterfly is. Alright, 1v1. Alright, I have a butterfly. Against Pelly. Enemy is building a resource base. Enemy is building a, re a resource a resource base. Oh man. Small attacks ground. All right, so I guess I'll just rally like here. But dude, Pig, one of the greatest RTS YouTubers that will ever live, and streamer, and personality, caster, commentator, host, handsome gentleman, X5 Pig, thank you so much for the raid, Pig, you rule. And I regret to inform you, we are going to be raiding my brother after this. So really, it's like it's like we're on the we're on the upswing in this channel. We're going to descend down into madness in my brothers. Actually, Nick and I have kind of a similar comportment. Oops, I didn't expand. I was busy talking. I was busy finding excuse to use the word comportment. One in the chamber. Starting Starforge. Enemy right. tech is turning on. Enemy Here tech. I'm just going for the advanced. Should I just go straight for the advanced destroyer? That'd be a sweet thing to do, huh? Starforge is ready. Starting advanced Starforge. Um, some anti-air on the ground as well, but then we're going to start getting advanced destroyers. Okay. 
I think this advanced destroyer unit is just yoke, man. Maybe instead of these, it would be nice to have like a link or something. Advanced Starforge is complete. Workers getting flanked. Ooh, how embarrassing. What? Oh, what? Did I not? Did I not hit the button that I wanted to hit? Destroyers are fucking stupid. I love these things. I mean, I completely messed up the uh, my defense uh, against those flyers, so likely, probably pretty dead. But still, I mean, that was advanced destroyers are so sick. So let's see. Oh yeah, this rock music. Hell yeah. So, I mean, literally, we, we lost to the butterfly because I hit rally, and then I hit D instead of F. So I just didn't have any money. Resource oh, base warmed up and work. I bet you I can recover. We can do it. Are you sure? Are two. Oh, holy fucking shit. Units reporting enemy is building a resource base. Uh, I think I want to get some of these. Units engaged. That sucks. Get us closer. Get us real fucking closer. Workers, enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. All right, let's try it. Let's try this again. So if we can start picking from afar, that's good. So we're doing some stuff here. Not really helping very much. I think I just need basic anti-air bots. Oh, are, are we ready? You got a resource base taking fire. Holy Cover it. Fuck them all. Resource base destroyed. Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Why can't I build? Oh, because you have supply caps in this game? Workers are packing units under attack. Advanced 
Advanced Destroyers are so yoked. I can't even believe it. Alright, so we're just gonna camp like this. You got a resource space taking fire. Cover it. Alright. Sudden death is activated. Seal the deal. I have 62%. Uh, no one has ever known what that means, but we have it. Dude, advanced destroyers. Oh my god, the, the range on this is so insane. I mean, that was... That might have been a good game. It's completely unclear to me. But it was a game. So butterflies are kind of a scary air-to-ground unit. I didn't quite realize how terrifying a butterfly is. In the middle of that game, it dawned on me that I actually didn't even need to build air. I could just go for the advanced destroyer. Resource base warmed up and working. Dude, great Starforge play from Villain. <laughs> He's gonna just get butterflies and airships and advanced destroyers. All right. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. We're going to 12, baby. So here, here's the build. Here's what we're going to do. We are, we are vishing for the advanced destroyer. And we're going for an, another base. Un autre expansion. Resource enemy is building a resource base. Hello. You got a resource base. Really? Fire. Go cover it. Exposed rear. Workers down. Location. Triple tap. I've killed a lot of these things. Alright, villain has not done nothing yet. Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Now, do I lose this really badly, or is this kind of even? Holy shit. What is this built? Wait, 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 wait. Victory. Why did I win? Don't, don't these just crap on my air units? I don't understand why I won, but I do I do suspect that I might be the greatest player of all time. 
It was to your gun bots. I don't know if the stats would suggest that, but the important thing is that there's no way to see them. All right, looks like looks like my my rush my rush strat is working. Oh, Poli ninety three, I recognize that name. Resource base warmed up and working. Teleporting. We're against a crabby gamer. So what I should actually do is I should. Huh. So we're gonna we're gonna scout, right? We're gonna scout because I actually think that we can do some force and function action here. Because, I mean, the fact is, with this, these are just two anti-ground units. So I can just... Okay, the fact that this is crabs, I think it bodes well for us. Because I can, I can infinitely crab kite. Enemy is building a resource base. Contact. And then we go into air. Found and cover. Triple tap. Starting Starforge. Light actuators activated. So we're out of stims. Viking. Charging. Raven? No. Gun bots attacking. Better cover? Try not to use my stim because I'm a little low on them. Go, go, go! Get at it! Location loaded. Rounds on target. Calculating grid. One in the chamber. Full auto. Gun bots moving. Yeah, I'm not. Enemy is building a resource base. Enemy is building a resource base. So my opponent immediately loses, right? Like it's 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 immediate, right? Starforge is ready. So then we're gonna go advance. Starting advanced Starforge. Enemy tech is turning on. Be ready. Circling. My opponent has no way to shoot up. Engine idling. New position. Where are my buddies? Just cruising along. We are so ready. Go, go, go. I'm sorry, am I the greatest gamer? We did it. We won with anti-air. Or anti-ground air. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm the greatest. Okay. Every win is earned. <laughs> dude, I gotta say, the, the, a lot of the, the voice line stuff, the camp is so good. Dude, I can't wait. If I if I play, I just need to play more matches. Killing me workers. So so if I if I play like what is it? 45 billion more matches, I can unlock a unit. Is that right? All right. I'll object. Resource base. Enemy is building a resource base. So I just rush air here. So all of the like all of these only shoot ground. He's only anti-air. Villain has to do that. 
One in the chamber. Gun box moving. Robotic infantry. Standing cover and ground. And I'll probably go for another expansion. And make only airships? Question, is the airship better? Oh yeah, airship literally is the... This is the only anti-air that they have. So if I actually just try to find a way to get more airships, resource base warmed up and you got a resource base taking fire. Cover it. Cover. Contact. This is a quick way to make that not occur. Triple tap. Viking stand. Workers getting flanked. All right, really good. Enemy is Starforge is ready. Go, go, go. So this is it. This is this is the win condition right now. So we just get more of these. Shit, I miss hockey. Alright, well, that's the game. Never mind, doing. Very easy game. Did not see the villain build that. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I have these. That that will actually really help. That'll that'll actually basically do it for us. Are we ready? I just forgot about that. damage. Workers, workers, workers! Last game, last game, last game, last game, victory. last game, victory, woo! Uh, the trick was remembering the hunter, which has been like, oh my god, the progression is just, it's agony. It's literally agony. Yeah, the hunter. That's it. I just need to remember that that thing exists. Resource enemy is building a resource so base. So what is this? Advanced recall. Is it just missile bots? Is that it? Straight into destroyers again. Yeah, liter literally, my, my advice to everyone is literally do not even go remotely close to this game until the progression systems change. Viking, charging. 
one in the chamber. Better cover? Enemy is building a resource base. Kill! Go. Units Go. engaged. Location. Robotic infantry. So I want to keep up enough pressure to where it depresses me. Ready. Starting Starforge. Gunbots moving. Enemy tech is turning on. Be Cover ready. Ground. Stand. Full auto. Found the cover. What engine? Idling. I forgot to hit the Q button. Sorry, I keep thinking. I keep taking moments to think. Alright. So I assume my opponent is going to be making missile bots. Enemy is building a resource base. Gunbots moving. So the advanced destroyers will need butterflies. Butterflies moving. Units under attack. Oh, Starforge is complete. Calculating grid. Circling. Dude, the rush for the advanced Starforge there is so sick. Units in combat. Oh, these things. Oh, they also do have the sprint the uh, overcharge overdrive thing I don't have much anymore Literally don't think that he can deal with advanced destroyers. Units reporting damage. Oh, these are 125? I thought they were 250. What? Units engaged. Dude, advanced destroyers are bust Ted. They're 125? I thought they were 250, 250. That's insane. These are so abusive. Love this unit. Oh my god. You can make so many of them. That's so sweet. See how these shockers just keep getting stuck behind his uh, little bot dudes? I genuinely think that that's why the gun bot shocker combination is really weak. You watch this. You just. That damage is so ridiculous. Well, I'll be honest, I had an absolute Victory. blast. I thought that was a ton of fun. Um,. I mean, like, holy shit, that was legitimately insanely fun to play. I think that the rate at which things unlock is sufficiently slow that I'll probably wait for the next beta release, whatever it is. Um, I'll probably wait 
Um, just because... I mean, I, I just... I mean, it's... It's brutally slow, this thing. Um, to the point where it's like... I don't know. It's like it's, like it's goofy. It's almost goofy how slow it is. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Because I think that uh, in terms of things that I, I personally unlock... Um, what did I unlock? I didn't unlock any of these. I think I unlocked the destroyer. I think that's it. Um, yeah, also, like, so, so here's the thing. There, there's three things I want to see out of this game uh, the next time I play that would make me really excited. First, a stop button that is different than a hold position button. Stop is really good for having a line of melee units that you set up and you hit S, so they keep that formation. And then if units come nearby, they will pursue them because they've just stopped. They're not a hold position. Hold position is useful if I have like a line of ranged units and I want them to actually hold that formation, shoot things that come nearby, but then not chase. Um, like, I really want those buttons. That's the first thing. Second thing, for the love of God, put stats in the game. I mean, it's, it's, it is ridiculous to not have the data in there. And not just as in, ooh, I'm a hardcore gamer. I want to min-max and stuff like this. I got this destroyer, and I was like, okay. It says anti-big. I guess I'll get it. It took me a few games to even understand that this thing was cool. I did not understand that this was cool. Or, for instance, the advanced destroyer, I had to get fucking shit on. And then I went, holy crap, how good is this? And if I could have looked and seen that it has ridiculous range, what that would have done is it would have made me excited to play the game. I can't wait to get this crazy long range thing. That's amazing. Or, you know, if there's a Kraken, this costs 3,000, 3,000. What does it do? Is it good? I don't know. Right now, I, I, I'm not that interested in the Kraken. It's like, whatever, you know. Um, You, very literally, if there is not data in the game, long, like, medium term, I'll quit playing. Like, for instance, if, if this game was monetized perfectly, it's a fully free game, and it adds stop uh, and hold position, but there's no stats, I mean, I just have no interest in... Because it's just like, I don't know, shit happened, and I can't figure out what's going wrong. Um, third thing I want to see is um, uh, the rate at which things are unlocked just changed. I mean, I just... And, and th these, to me, are not nice-to-haves. These are, like, requirements that would block me from playing the game in the future. Um, now, in terms of other nice-to-haves, are there replays here? Can I watch replays? I'd love to watch replays at some point. Watching replays? Totally rules. No replays. Love replays. I would love post-game stats, stuff like that. It feels very ephemeral, you know? It feels, I don't know, like each each game of Battle Aces feels like an amazing drunken bender. Where you wake up the next day and you're like, oh shit, that was awesome. And what happened? I have no fucking clue. Like every game is just here and gone. Um, Uh, but yeah, Luth Logic Alley says, would you support an unlock tree that makes you try different units? Fuck yeah, I'd love that. I mean, it's it's, it's a pacing thing for me. Because, like, I unlocked this guy. What's this? Power Command? Core Skin? So I unlocked a Knight, and I bought a Destroyer, and I played for four hours. I'm also really curious what the other units are like, because uh, I just saw a lot of the same units for the most part. But again... I'm, I'm sharing those criticisms, but I had a fucking blast. Oh, x I unlocked the Shocker. That's right. I, I really did have a blast. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I don't know how much more I'm going to play it on stream. Probably next week is going to be Hearthstone and or Factorio. I don't know. I might pop on Battle Aces. The addiction might get me. But, I mean, I, I, I think that the team over at Lightspeed just... I, 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 I really, really love and respect how opinionated this game is. Because, like, for instance, if you said to me, Sean, what if we made a game that was only a micro battle? I would be like, I would not enjoy that. I wouldn't like that. I think you need base building, blah, blah, blah. And I can imagine 
someone asked me that and me giving that answer, and and them going, no, fuck you, we're gonna make a micro battle, awesome. I mean, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> this is not, this is not like the other RTS games. Um, so I have a lot of respect for that, and I thought it was great. And I am, ex I mean, I, again, th those short-term critiques notwithstanding, um, I insanely would love to track this game and play it in the future when there's more stuff added. Uh, so with that, my brother has, um, I, I believe he's on his stream right now, sobbing, going, I just want my brother to raid me. I think that's what you guys were saying in chat. <laughs> Oh, I tease. I love my brother. Um, my brother, Tasteless TV, the greatest StarCraft commentator of all time. Um, he's going to be playing some Battle Aces, I think, so I'm going to raid him. Everyone, give my brother some love. He's a lovely lad. And uh, I want to see what the other units are like. So have a wonderful night, and I'll see you later. Not live yet. He did go for a walk, though. Wait, what? Wait, what? He's not? 